How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome to another Terraria tutorial. In this episode, we're looking at farming some more uh, parts of the Ank Shield. Uh, we're looking for the Blindfold, the Trifold map, we're looking for Megaphones, we're looking for everything this episode. And normally you would just scope out the deserts, but we're going to look at a farm that farms everything for you really quick. You get a ton of items for it, so let's get started guys. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the farm in operation here. So basically because most of the enemies uh, use fighter AI, like dark mummies and light mummies, I've just got a nice hammered ramp moving upwards that they can walk up to and fall in. Uh, I've got a little shallow lava pit down there. And this strange little thing up here is hopefully for the unicorns that spawn from the uh, hello side to occasionally get caught on and fall in the pit, which they will any moment now. Uh, also, flying mobs eventually go into the middle here. And I've got teleporters off screen that I'll show you in a moment uh, to show where they're coming from. Let's have a quick look at the loot that this trap gets. We get the fast clock from the pixies, we get the trifold maps from the light mummies. We get the megaphones that pretty much fall from all the mummies and pixies. And we also get the blindfolds from the dark mummies. You get banners. Uh, it's dropping a few jungle key molds. And I'll explain why I've got jungle blocks there in a moment. I got a shadow helmet from something. We got some banners and all that good stuff. Oh, and light and dark shards too, which are pretty rare. So good to collect, um, which are used in some strong, powerful weapons. Alright, so let's pop outside and have a look around here. Alright, so I'll just turn the map on so you can see what's happening and get my ravens outside so I'm not dying while I'm showing you what's going on. Okay, so basically all I've done is run a... and I had to build the platform up. I've run 80 blocks of Eben Sand to the right side of the screen. And similarly, I've run 80 blocks of Pearl Sand to the left side. And I've got a row of five blocks thick of just grey bricks. And the reason for that, guys, is so the uh, pearl sand and even sand don't spread. Uh, one other thing, and I have to credit uh, a user called Diceman X for this trick. Um, I was just searching around for solutions for a farm. And in one post, he talked about including 80 blocks of lizard bricks in traps because it increases the monster spawn rate. <clears throat> Until then, I've only been using water candles, uh, holding and having one placed. Um, apparently, if you have uh, lizard bricks underneath, and then as long as they're not on the surface, it'll only spawn whatever mobs are the surface. So you can see, because pearl sand and even sand are on top, it spawns uh, desert mobs the most, and a few corruption ones. Alright, that's pretty much all there is to this trap, guys. It's pretty simple to make. A few actuated spear traps here, but if you're not up to the temple yet, this would work just fine without the spears as well. It simply speeds up the trap. So, let's bring that loot screen up again. Great way to get four of the ank shield uh, parts in one easy trap. Uh, heaps of money you'll earn from selling a lot of the accessories and some weapon stuff too. Hope this has been useful, guys. Leave a like if it has been. Leave a comment if you can suggest any improvements or you've got any questions. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't joined us. This is Happy Day signing out. And don't forget to stay happy. See you later. Hey guys, I was just about to finish recording and I realised I didn't show two critical things about this trap. Um, which is very unlike me. Uh, the first thing is I didn't show the wiring. Uh, so just super basic, hooked up to the trap. Got a teleporter leading out here. And also... Uh, just to the teleporter here, I've just got it linked over three buttons and touching once there. The other thing I forgot to mention is because uh, this is located in a desert biome, it gives you the best chance of having all the desert mobs spawn. Um, it just looked like the mummy had a kawaii face too. <laughs> I want to see another one now <laughs> and confirm it. And the, and the dark mummy looks angry. I've never noticed that. That's so weird. It does! Look at it! It's got a happy face! I think. Or am I just going crazy? And a dark mummy looks really angry. Anyway, uh, so a desert biome needs about a thousand... A thousand blocks of sand to count as desert. 
So just putting a little bit of even sand or pearl sand on the top is not going to cut it. So make sure you build this farm on a desert. Critical point. Hope you got that. Thanks for watching again. Stay happy.